Hey everybody, welcome back to Cold Tesla. Finally making a video, haven't made one in a while. Cause well, it's been cold out, let me tell ya. So, here today we're here to talk about solar. How does solar work in the winter time when a cold climate? And let me tell you, I gotta zip my coat up here because as you can see from the beginning, it is minus 21. It's breezy out there, but not as bad as yesterday. So it's only minus 33. That's right, only minus 33. Two threes. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyways, I'm gonna show you what my panels look like because we did get in a significant amount of snow again. Uh, and, uh, and it's been quite windy. So the way the panels are placed on my house, they're not high enough, you know? They're not like this. They're like this. They were like this and elevated. Uh, off the roof, the snow would probably, the wind could blow some off and stuff like that and maybe come off and produce some electricity. But in actual fact, my solar panels haven't produced any electricity for quite some time. And, and because I have my phone with me and I took my gloves off and uh, I took the wrong glove off, so now I can't tell you what's going on. So anyways, so this is a cold climate. So how much power do your panels produce in February. Well, I'm gonna show you with my phone. So we open it up. The great thing about solar panels and everything is is the apps. Uh, <laughs> other than you're producing your own electricity and it can't wait for the summer. And in actual fact, I can't wait until March 12th. I think it's the 12th or the 11th. I'll get actually 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness because I live in an area where you know it gets up to 16, 17 hours of uh, sunlight a day in the summertime. It's just wonderful. So, as you can see by my app here, let's see if it will come into focus. Focus. I should do this on the desktop. Anyways, my power is zero, and uh, here's the month. There's a nice little graph for you. Uh, that coming through. Let's see if we can get that to work a little bit better. No, let's come back. Let's see what's going on here. See, see the two greens. This is before the snowstorm hit, and as you can see, I have produced zero power. So on the first and the second, I got pretty good power. It was sunny. Uh, let's go back to the first and the second, so I can show you. Uh, how that works. So we go back to the first. So let's go back to 1, 2, 10, 9, 8. Let's get back to February 1. There we go. That's a nice looking graph. See? Not like the summer. But I produced 17.1 kilowatt hours that day. Uh, the average temperature was minus 3 and you know it was a, not a bad day. And then on the 2nd of February, I produced 8.16 kilowatt hours. Clouds started to come in, started to get much colder. On the 3rd of February, I produced zero. As you can see, oops, data, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sure hope that shows up. Maybe I'll have to do, might have to do some editing, but anyways. So from the 3rd until today, as I'm filming of this video, um, I have produced zero, count it, zero watts of electricity. Absolutely nothing. And in the last seven days, with the wind chill, not feels like it's wind chill, because we've had 40, 50, 60, 70 kilometer an hour winds. Yesterday, last night, it was 84 kilometers an hour, 84. Do the math, it's minus 33 outside and you got a wind chill, wind of 84 kilometers an hour, minus 47. Minus 47. My panels produce zero electricity. Have done that for seven days. So I don't know who out there, you know, is going to come up with a way to store the energy that's efficient, but without natural gas, I freeze to death. Everyone in my province freezes to death. In fact, pretty much everybody in Canada freezes to death. And Northern United States, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, New York, Massachusetts, Maine, 
You name Idaho, Montana, you're gonna freeze to death without natural gas. You need the natural gas. Uh, but I'm coming up with a way you might be able to solve that, but I'm not very smart, so I don't know if I can do it. So I wanted to give you an idea how much power do you actually produce when it's cold out? And since February, all I've gotten, because I'm filming this on the 12th, is 15 kilowatt hours. Or, tw nope, 25 kilowatt hours. That's it. That's all I got. Drop my glove. So, I'm going to show you what the panels look like because I got my ladder out and um, got my gloves on. I got my nice puffy coat on. I got really good boots on. They're good to minus 55. Used to work up in this Northwest Territories and when I came back I never got rid of them. So I pulled them out one days like today. So thank you very much for tuning in and I'm um, hiding in my garage here because it's breezy outside. So right here, this is minus 23. Right here. But as soon as I walk out that door, it's minus 33 and if the wind even picks up just a little bit, It'll go to minus 44. So let's go take a look at what these panels look like. That's if I can get the camera going. There's the sun. See everybody there's my panels right there they go up there they go down and they're just covered but as you can see sun's out and there's some clouds and stuff so it's not too bad up here on the on the roof it's not too bad but as you can see by the smokestack winds coming from the north I gotta get down you know having short hair not wearing a hat Kind of stupid when it's in the minus 35 to minus 40s. So hopefully everybody got an idea. There's the command center, which uh, if you go back to the, when this was installed in the summertime, let's go back into my garage here and uh, get things back set up. I mean, I guess I could do some editing and fix this up a little bit, but I'm not going to. Just let you see what it's like. Hopefully the camera didn't freeze out and stop working. Welcome to minus 33, 45, 25, cold temperatures, what do you produce? If you've got snow, you don't produce anything. I'm hoping that we warm up a little bit, get that snow off, and then get cold again with no snow. So I can actually show you, it does produce electricity when it's minus 25 outside if you don't have the snow on there. But to clear those off, height, all that kind of stuff, too risky to hurt the panels. Don't want to do that. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.